Colonel Marshall, I want to impress upon you again the vital importance of getting those plans to me immediately. The success or failure of the entire drive depends upon them. You understand? Yes, sir. Colonel Marshall, on my plan. Uh, excuse me, General. It may be personal. Oh. What is it, Lorna? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the, no, sir. That's the place there, Will. It, it's a memorandum on sharpshooting. Oh. Colonel Marshall, remember, I shall hold you personally responsible for those plans. Yes, sir. My coat. Yes, sir. Uh, <clears throat> I'll go. I'll go. Olga's crazy. I've never given her the slightest encouragement. She runs me ragged. The military police sergeant is sent for, sir. Send him in. Well, have you caught those two men? Uh, no, sir. You see, it's this way. I it's don't care which way it is. Those men are AWOL. Absent about leave from their outfit for 10 days. Running around Paris as if this were a picnic instead of a war. Impersonating officers. Trading with congressmen's wives. Last night, one of them had an engagement to elope with the Russian ambassador's mother-in-law and didn't keep the engagement. The Russian ambassador is very angry. Now, I want those two men captured and brought to me personally. I'll see that they go to jail for life. Here's a photograph of them. Now, you go out and get those men. Yes, sir. Was the old man sore? No. He gave me the quad again, a kiss on both cheeks for not catching them AWL guys. Well, how are you going to catch them? I ain't never even seen them. The old man just gave me a photograph of them. Photograph? There ain't no photograph on here. Can you beat those guys? They got away again. If ever I catch them, I'll bring them in piece for piece. Me too. Come on, soldier. We got work to do. Come, come, boys, let's have an accounting. Let's have an accounting. Why, we're just talking to some girlfriends. Mm. Did you hear that, Thomas? Let's see your passes, men. Oh, come, come, oh, more alert, man. men, more alert. Look them over, Thomas, then report to me. Why, it's a clear infraction of Rule 6, Section 4, Apartment 3, The People versus John Doe. Mm, just as I thought, just as I thought. I'm surprised at you men acting thusly toward those whom you have sworn to love, honor, and... Oh, baby. <laughs> but we haven't done anything That's enough, soldiers. No but. On your way, or we'll render you horses to combat. Yes. Scrammy. Mm. Scrammy. But, sir, you can't... Uh, every time I make a game... Something hard to make a game. Bonsoir, petite cherries. Vive le boom de ta. Lafayette, we're there. Oh, well, 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 Something tells me we're gonna nail those guys. Me too. Where's your armband? I don't know. What a swell MP you turned out to be. Here we are looking for a couple of guys that'll turn Paris upside down, and you lose your armband. Yeah? Well, where's yours? Well, what? Say, something tells me we almost had those guys. 
Me too. Come on, soldier. We'll get him yet. Get his opportunity so bad. Say, now that you brought that up, I want to ask you something. What did she say? She said no. Come on. Hey, Tommy, I'm getting a little tired of being an MP. So am I. These things are no good anyway. Sometimes they make good handkerchiefs. You know, MP, mop perspiration. Oh, you're <laughs> off again? <laughs> Gilbert, what about promoting ourselves? Splendid idea. Let's be lieutenants. Just the thing. After what we saw, we deserve it. Tommy? Yeah? How would you like to be a general? Not me. There's no chance for promotion. Mm. Here we are. Isn't it wonderful, the future one has in the Army? <laughs> you start at the bottom and go over the top. Now, where are my lieutenants? Here they are. Now, stand still, boy, stand still. Now, there's a rank. In fact, very rank. How do you do? How do you do? They won't give us a tumble. They must be big game. They may be big game to some people, but they're just animal crackers to me. Well, now, Gilbert, you can't tell. Maybe they don't want to be seen with lieutenants. All right, then we'll be captains. You know, Gilbert, those girls showed very good sense. They don't like second lieutenants. All right. You stand still then, shave tail, while I make you a captain. You won't make me a captain. You'll make me a major. You know, the higher we go, the harder they'll fall. A major? Certainly. Where do I keep my maker? Ah, here they are. Major. Nope, those are rear admirals. Here's the major. Now, as Adam said to Eve, pick yourself a couple of leaves. Say, Gilbert, if that little dark one don't go for this, she ain't human. <laughs> I've got a sneaking idea that the one in the floppy hat likes the aviators. <laughs> Great. We'll make a few fly remarks. <laughs> splendid, splendid, Major. Would you like some decoration? Well, look now, nothing tantalizing. Just a DSC and a Croix de Guerre. A DSC and a Croix de Guerre. Certainly, certainly. Hold still. There. Boy, you look like a million dollars. I may look like a million dollars, but I'm going to be much easier to make. Beaver! Boom, claw, boom, guitar, alley up, and all that sort of jolly nonsense. <laughs> I, uh... I can't recall your name, but I've forgotten your face. My, my, my. That hat certainly has a marvelous wing spread. <laughs> I, uh, I bet you take off easily. Major, have you noticed that the large picture hats are coming back? Yes, yes. You know, bit by bit, our women are losing their manhood. Yes, I've <laughs> noticed that. Mm -hmm. I bet the face beneath the brim is just as lovely as the decoration. And what decoration? Ah, lovely. Mmm. If we only had a little cream and sugar. Major, will you have an apple? <clears throat> Thank you, Captain. I'm glad watermelons are not in season. How is you? <clears throat> Monsieur, you are making a bad mistake. You may be bad, but you're no mistake. <laughs> <laughs> well put, Captain. You are very droll, monsieur. Oh, yes, yes. I just droll around from place to place. <laughs> oh, doesn't he say the cutest things? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, 
lovely war we're having. Aussi, je crois que la guerre est une très bonne chose, car elle me donne l'occasion à faire connaissance avec beaucoup de soldats américains. <laughs> well, you certainly clean that one up. La bonne chose, c'est la bonne chose. 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 What you say I like very much. Oh, I wonder what I said. <laughs> you are distinguished, Avieto. Well, uh, <clears throat> I don't think so, but then what's my opinion compared to thousands of others? <laughs> Move over, will you, honey? <coughs> Thank you. Uh, do you kiss soldiers? Ah, that is my business. How's business? Mm. <laughs> Monsieur, why do you take up aviation? Now, let me see. Why did I take up aviation? Oh, I have it out here, yeah. They told me I was no good on Earth. Oh, <laughs> it's all for that. <laughs> no, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to make a parachute leap. Oh, a parachute leap? Yes. Yeah. I want to show General Pershing what's in me. Oh, will you? Oh, God, I just saw it. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes. You know, you know, I'm very fond of France. I love dear old France. You know what I like about France? I love to hear the French peasants singing the mayonnaise. Oh, the camels are coming. Oh, the camels are coming. The camels are coming. Oh, 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 the cam
I'll be in all lunch and get yours. Yes, sir. Oh, hello, Folger. Strange that I always meet you here. Always I'm here waiting for you to be nice to me. I can't be nice. I'm married. Oh, but can't you be just a little bit nice, huh? Now, Folger, I don't want to be rude. But if I am nice, you send me perfumed love letters that will ruin me. Oh, You've but... got to stop it, you understand? And what's more? What do you mean by sending your love notes in official United States Army envelope? Because... If I do not send them in official United States Army envelopes, you do not open my letter. Yes, but don't you know that's a serious offense? What? Not opening my letter? No, no, sending them in official envelopes. Oh, but can I help it that you are so magnificent? Oh, mon brave, do not scold poor Olga. You are always so cold. Hot or cold, you've got to stop sending those letters. J'aime beaucoup les soldats américains. They are so snappy. Hmm. So at some. Well, of course, when it comes to that, you know these military men. Mm -hmm. To your left hand. Take me to luncheon. I can't take you to luncheon. Why not? My wife is waiting for me. You might introduce me to your wife. Yes, I might. Mm -hmm. But I won't. <coughs> See you later. <laughs> well, we had him again. Yeah. Hey, listen. When I do get hold of them, I'm going to knock them so cold they'll keep for years. Me too. Hey! Let me go, or I'll bust you in the beat. You'll bust who in what beat? Oh. Then there is a Santa Claus. Snap up, soldier. What else is? Be tail of 2 A W O L. Well, you better not let my dad catch you. Ah. Uh, who's your dad? Colonel Marshall. Are you sure? What? I mean, uh. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> you know, you flatter him. Oh. Have you ever met my dad? No, but uh, he's trying to meet me. I'll fix it. No, no, don't do me any favors. <laughs> Say, you know when I first saw you, I, I, I thought you were a little French girl. Honest? Yeah. Hot dog, that's my repressed desire. Say. What? Do you think I could fascinate him? Fascinate him? Honey, you could mutilate him. Jumbo cool a sold up to Mary Can. They are so handsome, so snappy. Oh. Oh. It's a good thing I've been vaccinated. Say, honey, I want to ask you something. It might sound a little personal. You know, at first. What is it? Do you love me? Well, you have to give me a little time. Well, you better make up your mind. It's 2.30 now. You know, this Paris is a fast place. Gee, isn't Paris a grand place to live in? Do you, do you live in Paris? Uh-huh. <laughs> then Paris is a grand place to live in. Say. What? Are you married? No, I just naturally look worried. Oh, I think it's a shame to send cute little fellows like you to the front. That's what I said, but you can't tell these generals anything. I think it's wonderful us happening to meet this way. Gee, and I think it's wonderful to meet a girl who's beautiful enough to be dumb and doesn't take advantage of it. When you are on duty, mm -hmm. marching all along, mm -hmm. I hear you pass by my door. Precious little beauty, you'll be safe and sound, guarded as you never were before. When you put them die away, mm -hmm. baby, I'll get through. Let my life fly away, tell me what to do. When you get blue, just whistle for 
for me, dear. I'll promise you I will never fail to hear. Then I'll pretend it's just a little bird. I'll find my sweetie without another word. When in the shade, dear, someone you see. Until the break of day, whistling the blues Drive to the right, will you drive to the right? Oh, Miss Dear, did I help you? Well, you bent my bumper a little bit, yeah. <laughs> oh, you have a thing with Aviator? Yes, and I'm just in the midst of a non-stop flight. Oh, but you would you prom me avec moi, Uncle? We'll take that up a little later, honey. Oh, but I'm not. Get the Colonel up. Get me a car. are doing everything they can to make this war miserable for me. Listen, honey, if anything should happen that we're separated, you meet me here tonight at 8 o'clock. Oh, are you looking for trouble? <laughs> I don't have to look for it. Gilbert is always with me. Listen, our song. Isn't that pretty? When you get blue, just whistle for me, dear. I'll promise you I will never fail to hear. <coughs> then I'll pretend it's just a little bird. <coughs> I'll find my sweetie without another word. <coughs> when in the shade, dear, someone you see. Don't be afraid, dear, for it'll be. It'll be. 
huddle close until the break of day. What are you sitting on the ground for? Because it happened to be there when I landed. How did you get in the Colonel's car? I belong in it. I'm his daughter. I remember now. I've seen you with him. Hey, I'm glad you came. Say, I'm after those guys. They make love to every girl they see. The little one? He's the worst. Oh, he is, is he? I'll fix him. What's his name? Don't you know? <laughs> well, we were so busy, I forgot to find out. Tommy Turner. And the skinny one is Gilbert Simpkins, A-W-O-L, impersonating officers and fooling women. Fooling girls? Yes, and laughing at them. Fooling girls and laughing at them, huh? I'll get them for you. How? Well, he told me to meet him. Never mind. This is my big moment. I'll capture them both, single-handed. Hey, you're pretty clever, ain't you? Sure I'm clever. Say, maybe you're my big romance. Ma'am? Well, I mean, is it against Army regulations for a colonel's daughter to get a yen for a sergeant? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> well, oh, I mean, I... Oh, Jumbo, cool soldats American. They are so handsome, so snappy. Be nice to me, big boy. <laughs> In that trunk with the private. Well, those two fellows were trying to run away with me, but I surrounded them. You? Well, I shot at them and missed, but don't worry, Pop. I'll get them for you yet. My little baby, just a tip off the old block. Colonel Marshall's not there, huh? All right, thank you. Can't you telephone anywhere else? Well, we've tried everywhere. Oh, perhaps he went to Pierre's and missed you. No matter where he went, he didn't miss me. Well, Colonel Marshall, sir. Uh, not here. I'll take it. Uh, what a delightful odor. <laughs> yes, that's the new one. Yeah. Uh, springtime of love. Mm. You know, these French, you can't feed them when it comes to perfume. Gee, what an odd idea. Sending army orders on perfume paper. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, 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 not at all. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you see, uh, uh, in this way, we can classify them immediately. Now, for instance, uh, now this would be from the quartermaster's department. No. Well, uh, if that is from the quartermaster's department, I imagine it would be simply glorious to smell an order from General Headquarters. <laughs> yes, I, yes. I, I never thought of that. No. <laughs> no. Ah, it is so coincident we meet again. Didn't I tell you to keep away from here? Don't be mad, Pop. In 
seduce me. I haven't got time. Why did you need to send the pop? I'll shut them up at you. Annette, I'm in a hurry. Okay, Pop. Run along. I might pick up a few pointers in this baby. <laughs> Here's the time. <laughs> <clears throat> Snap out of it! Is this whole blame family gone crazy? Billing and cooing like a pair of nitwitted turtle doves right in front of that gate? What are you doing here? Seven days leave, sir. Well, you can send them all away from my daughter. Oh, don't be violent, Dad. Jim wants to marry me. Oh, he does, eh? <laughs> a man who takes on a wife in a war at the same time is insane. Clear out. Yes, sir. Oh, Father, why do you hate Jim? Because he wants to take you away from me. I went to a lot of trouble to get my family. <laughs> I married your mother, didn't I, eh? Well, I decided that you shouldn't marry a soldier. You said it. But can't you look after your family? I've got a war on my hands. Yes, I just saw one of your orders from the quartermaster's department. Springtime of love. <laughs> when a man kisses you, does that mean he's really in love with you? Men kiss him? <laughs> no one can say nothing by those. Say, do you know anything particular about men with curly hair? Curly hair, straight hair, no hair. They're all the same. Suppose you fell in love with a fella that loved every girl he met. What would you do? Make believe I love him desperately. Never cease to say, je t'aime, je t'aime. Write him letters, two, three, six, every day. Oh, gee, I had a lot of trouble with my big moment. He's A-W-O-L. You don't want A-W-O-L? A whale of a liar. Oh, but you will win him. There are many ways. Have you ever tried perfume? Perfume? Mm, there's one in particular. Printemps d'amour. In English, it is called springtime of love. One thousand francs the bottle. Why don't you try some? I will. I'm going to get revenge if I have to get a perfume. <laughs> oh, Ma, come on over and meet what they go for in Paris. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Oh, but she's one of Pop's girlfriends. Annette, don't be silly. That's not funny. Come along, you've said enough. Oh, Mom, can I have a thousand francs to buy some perfume? What sort of perfume? Oh, it's a wow. It lures men. What? Well, she uses it. They call it springtime of love. Springtime of love, eh? She'll be lucky if winter comes. You know, after all, Gilbert, love is peace, quiet, and tranquility. That isn't love. That's sleep. Do you really think that Gaga and Ned is going to show up? Say, she isn't Gaga. She has eyes like the heavens, cheeks like peaches of Picardy. Oh, isn't that pretty? Is that them? You'll scare them off. Here's my gun, miss. And remember, we get 500 for them, dead or alive. Be sure they're the right guys, though. Tommy Turner. Curly hair. Gilbert Simpkins. Skinny. Wears horn rimmed glasses. Wait for me at the palais. I'll deliver the body. F-O-B. See you at the palais. Honey, I knew you'd come. Ah, uh, I seem to feel the call of the great outdoors. Is this your car? Yeah, we picked it up for practically nothing. <laughs> yeah. 
Everything about it makes a noise except the horn. Ah, horn rim glasses. The description is perfect. <laughs> She's not as gaga as I thought she was. Curly hair. Gee, I'm lucky. Kiss me. <laughs> Just as I expected. Now, you, what's my method? <clears throat> what makes you think you're so lucky, honey? Because I got you. <laughs> Boy, I kill him. I kill him. Does that really make so much difference to you? It means that I'll make $500 out of you. Out of him? You must expect to know him a long time. No, from both of you, I'll make $500 tonight. From both of us? <laughs> You're in Paris now, boy. You two boys are AWOL, and I'm going to take you back to my father, Colonel Marshall. What's that? Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Let's get this thing straight. You got it. Do you mean to tell me that you'd turn me in after I've decided to let you fall in love with me? Fall in love with you? Why, it's me that she cares for. This for you. <laughs> And that for you, and this for your papa. Papa gets the best of everything. <clears throat> uh, honey, where, would you pardon us a moment? Yes, just one little moment. Oh, no. Stick around, soldier. Uh, we won't be long. We won't be long. Just a short conference. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> she wants us to come back. <laughs> Odd how one will misunderstand a thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, would you mind putting that down? You're embarrassing us. Yes, if it went off, we'd be terribly upset. You drive a car, don't you, Four Eyes? Well, after a fashion, yes. Uh, what he doesn't know about driving would fill a hospital. Get in there and drive. She's taking us for a ride. Listen, if you ever talk fast in your life, boy, don't stutter now. Get up there. <coughs> you get in the back seat with me. Oh, it just occurred to me that I haven't a license for driving, so if you'll pardon me, I'll just wander around. Get in there! Drive to the pally. I'm taking you to my fire. Peace, quiet, and tranquility. Will you have a lollipop? No, I don't like lollipops. What are you doing with these powder puffs? Powder puffs? I've been eating them all day. I thought they were marshmallows. Oh, will you step on it? Will you step on it? You're still in second gear. What's he talking about? He wants me to make love to you so you won't turn us in. Oh, is that it? Well, it's no use. Not after the way you let me flop on the ground this afternoon. You'll forgive me, honey. You've got such a big heart. Detour, detour. The girl didn't fall on her heart. You know, honey, when you put your hand in my hair back there, it just seemed to fill me with electricity. What? A little thing like that? Oh, don't do that. But I like her. <laughs> well, that's in the bag. Come, honey, we must away. Get back there and drive. Oh, you want me to continue driving, is that it? Yes, and drive slower. <laughs> Would that you were birds and I a humble shotgun. Do you think this is going to work? It's a stitch. That's a smart little girl. Leave it to her. <laughs> in front of me, and just for that, I'm going to turn you to it and get that $500. Wait, I'll tell you what to do. Just turn him in and take $250. They'll put him in the guardhouse. Great. That'll give us a chance to be alone. <laughs> get back, quick. Don't let him see you. You're never satisfied, always complaining. You don't seem to realize the problems I have. I don't see how they could have a war without you. I know I couldn't. Oh, stop it. You'd have the last word with an echo. Where's Eileen? Oh, she's with Jim. There you are. 
I have to attend to everything. Can I be both father and mother? I shouldn't be surprised with your versatility. Doughboys go in there. Doughboys? Oh, oui. Un avec des grands lunettes noires et un avec des cheveux tout à fait brisés. Are you sure? Oh, je suis certain. Is there any way those guys can get out? Non, monsieur. Those two doors are the only way they can come in or out. Et monsieur, la cuisine est tout à fait enfermée. Les fenêtres sont fermées à clé et le patron est très, très chargé. Okay, pal. Merci, monsieur. Soldier? Yes, sir. We got him. Oh, boy. Release, step out. Waiter. It's a colonel. I want some attention. Uh, what is it you want, sir? Attention. For you, sir. We want a nice quiet dinner for two. Nice quiet dinner for two. No soup. What have you do, Joe? Now let me think. Uh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Is it vegetable, animal, or mineral? <laughs> In the soup. I'm sorry, but we're all out of those. Would you like some naturalized Swiss cheese? How's your turtle soup? Oh, very snappy, sir. Very snappy. Very well. Make it quick. Turtle soup, very snappy. I think I'll have a young chicken. It must be very young. In fact, extremely young. <laughs> Maybe I'd better bring you an egg. One premature chicken. 
Have you a wild duck? <laughs> no, but we could take a tame one out and aggravate it for you. <laughs> I'd like to have a nice juicy partridge with dressing and brown gravy. <laughs> so would I. You know, I'm starved. Good eggs, 200 francs. <laughs> yes. Your eggs are very high. Ah, but you must remember that an egg is a whole day's work for a hen. I think I'll have a nice fresh artichoke. He thinks he'll have a nice fresh artichoke. He thinks he'll have a nice fresh artichoke. Now, let me see. What will I have next? Indigestion, I guess. <laughs> uh, would you like some nice uh, petite mummy? Petite mummy? How do you spell it? Oh, um, I'll bring you a cup of coffee. Uh, and listen. Don't ask him if he has frog's legs. <laughs> How dare you talk? That'll be all. Hurry. Yeah, 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 we, yeah sir. We'll do that little thing, Lieutenant. Uh, <laughs> I'm awfully pleased to have met Wait you. Wait up, all of you. Come on, soldier. Let's look upstairs. I'll bet he comes back with a cream puff. Garçon? Coming right up, madam. Coming right up. <laughs> well, as I live in and hail. How are you, honey? How are you? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. <laughs> How is it you are here? Uh, Secret Service. Oh, is that why you wait on Colonel Marshall? I beg your pardon? Colonel Marshall. He's at the table you wait on. Oh, so it is. <laughs> the dear old Colonel. Looking well, too, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. I just got a tip that that old fellow was Colonel Marshall. You better find out for sure. Leave it to me. Pardon me, sir, but are you a relative of Colonel Marshall? Why, I am Colonel Marshall. Ah, that explains the resemblance. It's Colonel Marshall, all right. You want the colonel to have this note? Oh. Colonel, note from the young lady across the way. Hey, now, don't give it a thought. Don't give it a thought. Always glad to be of service. Dear Snugglepup, who is the old frop that's with you? And where? I can't make out that word. Why, how dare you? Well, what is it? What is it? Why, it's a message from the military police sergeant reporting on two desperate men absent without leave. <laughs> A liar. Wait, I'm sorry. You have such a thing. Can you talk? Why aren't you in the army? Well, that's a long story, Colonel. You see, it's this way. It's my feet. Well, what's the matter with them? 
Flat. Cold. I can't eat this duck. Send for the manager. It's no use. He won't eat it either. I... Here, you might try it. Just huh? <laughs> food. Coming up like a storm. Will you give me a serviette, please? Serviette? Thirst in him once. I'd like a serviette. A serviette? Serve him one. That's enough. You should eat it, Doc. Yes, yes. Oh, I can't eat French. I want the proprietor. Where is the proprietor? I am the proprietor, monsieur. Anything I can do for you? Do you speak French? Oui, oui. I want this man to start. Parlez-vous français? Oui, oui. Then you're fired. General Marshall's office. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, General Hale for you, sir. Yes, General. I've just been advised by G2 your plans are on the way over. Well, what the deuce is delaying them? Colonel Marshall, sir. Uh, just a minute, General. Here's something now. Spring time of love. Uh, I'm very sorry, Jeff. Yes, sir. Yes, it was something else. Oh, hang it all. I can't hang on this phone all day. You get those plans for me. And remember, I am holding you strictly accountable for them. Yes, sir. Uh, just a minute, General. Uh, here's another message. Oh, get those plans and get them quick. Before you give it to me, smell it. Tobacco. Here they are at last. Get General Hale on the phone and tell him I'm sending him through. And who will they detail to carry them, sir? Lieutenant James Reed. Locate my daughter and you'll find him. Order an escort to prepare to leave at once. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Reed, sir. You sent for me, sir? Yes, Lieutenant. I've got a job for you. This has to go to General Hale as fast as a man can carry it. General Hale, sir? But he's at the front. You'll have a car and the best driver available. But I'm on leave, sir. This is no detail for a tin soldier, Reed. Perhaps I've made a mistake. No mistake as far as I'm concerned, sir. What are the orders? You will leave immediately. Captain Jones will attend to the details of your escort. Yes, sir. I came to say goodbye to Eileen. Well, if you're white, you'll say goodbye to Ma first. Say, why did Pop send it to you? Oh, he gave me some very important papers to deliver to General Hale at the front. Oh, yeah? Well, well that's sort of dangerous, ain't it? Well, it's not exactly a health resort. And if you deliver them, it'll make you a hero? Oh, yes. A great big hero. You know, Jim, I like you. You have such an open face. Thanks. I think you'll be very charming when you grow up. Oh, you don't know the half of it. You're pretty clever, aren't you? Sure, I'm clever. Say, maybe you're my big romance. What's that? Well, I mean, uh, is it against Army regulations for a colonel's daughter to get a young girl lieutenant? What are you talking about? Oh, Jimbo, cool, eh, so that's American. They are so snappy, so handsome. Do nice to me, big boy. Say, what are you trying to do, flirt with me? Yeah, I'm trying to flirt with you. Well, look, i tell you what you do. You meet me here. Yeah? In about ten years. Hello, I 
Somewhere they're too glad to see us. And that isn't. She loves me. Monsieur, you have the chance to do two ladies a great favor. Uh uh. Here it comes. And at the same time, do something grand for your country. Mm hmm. I don't like the way they're leading up to this. Uh, what will you girls have? Oh, it is nothing. Oh, it is nothing. Well, we can handle it. <laughs> All you have to do is deliver this to General Hale. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? You see, we're great friends of General Hale. And his partner? His partner. Yeah, you don't mean to tell me that you've never heard of Hale and Hearty. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. We'd love to see dear old Hale again. Uh, where about in Paris, is he? Ah, uh, General Hale is at the front. Always at the front. Always at the front. <laughs> mm. It must be some other Hale. Yes. Well, so long, girls. We'll see you around. Oh, you're not going to back out. Back out? No, I'm going to walk right out face forward. You see, uh... <coughs> Our schedule is so filled up for the day. Oh, but this will make you a great big hero. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably make me the unknown soldier. Wait a minute, Gilbert. Let's do it. I want to be a hero for Annette. You see, he wants to do something great for his country. He aspires. <laughs> do you not? Ma'am? You aspire. Yeah, a little under him. Ah, uh. uh, Tommy. You'll do it, won't you? Sure I will. But I want Gilbert to go with me. You and Tommy go in there. Perhaps I can persuade Gilbert to be a hero, too. <laughs> you might, but uh, it will be difficult in broad daylight. You're not going to disappoint me, are you? Not for anything in the world, sweetheart. If you take these papers to General Hale, maybe Dad will forgive you for being A-W-O-L. Gee, I'm ashamed of myself. You know, I'm an awful sap. But since I met you, everything has changed. I want to be what you want me to be. My hero. Well, you must tell me all about yourself. Well, I'm afraid that would take a long time. A long time. For instance, I spent all last summer shooting tigers in Africa. But, monsieur, there are no tigers in Africa. <laughs> I know it. I killed them all. <laughs> <laughs> Come, speak over here. Yes, yes, last, last. Uh, hi ho. <laughs> you know, they laughed at me when I sat down, mm -hmm. but when I began to play. <laughs> My goodness, what well developed arms you have. Yes, you see, I play a lot of tennis. Good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you dance a lot, too, don't you? Oh, you bad boy. <laughs> oh, God, I'll bet you dance exactly like a heifer. Oh, uh, zephyr, zephyr. <laughs> <laughs> well, honey, how about it? How about what? Or, uh, <clears throat> how about you and me getting married? If I marry you, do you think you will be able to support me? I was afraid you were going to ask me that. <laughs> ah, Gilbert, you are so fascinating. Yes, I suppose so. You could be such a great man. Take Napoleon. He was a great man. Yeah, but he's a bus now. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert, you come from fighting stock, do you not? Fighting stock? I'll say I do. Father and mother were always at it. Doggone, you couldn't stop me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, I come from nice family, too. My father was born in Moscow, my mother was born in Vladivostok, and I was born in St. Petersburg. Is that so? Funny how you all got together. <laughs> ah! Little Lord Fauntleroy. <laughs> no, it's his father. Right? <laughs> and look, 
Look, he's brought along a hunk of ginger ale. Ginger ale? That's champagne, and it has one big kick. Yeah, is that so? Stick around, son. Stick around. <laughs> you know, Gilbert, when I bring champagne, I never know what I am doing. Now, wait a minute. Let's get this thing straight. You mean to tell me when you drink this stuff, you never know what you're doing? Not a thing. I won't need you anymore, son. I won't need you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Olga, where did you say you were from? St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. Mm -hmm. Now, that is a coincidence. You know, a thing like that wouldn't happen again in a million years. I tell you, it's a small world after all. Oh, are you from St. Petersburg, too? No, I'm from Seattle. Oh. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gilbert, I'm beginning to feel good. Yeah, but you... You still know what you're doing, don't you? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, have another drink, <laughs> have it? <laughs> Honey, mm -hmm. how about a little kid? No, no, no. The colonel of your regiment is going to stop all spooning and kissing. Well, he ought to. He's getting too old for that sort of stuff, honey. <laughs> I talk to him all the time, right? Oh, Gilbert, I could love a man like you if you would only do something. Well, how can I do anything? <laughs> you kind of got me all dying, honey. Something big. I mean, something heroic. Something like remettre le message général. Oh, that. Any time you say, baby. Any time you say. You will go to General Hill for me? I'll go to Hill for you any time, baby. Any time. Oh, I knew you would deliver the paper. What's that? You're going to take the papers to the front. Honey, you lied to me about that champagne. You know what you're doing. <laughs> now I know that you love me. Oh, I love you, honey. I'm mad about you. I'm mad about you. To me, you're a beautiful sprite. Uh, sprite, sprite, sprite. Oh, why do I ever vest like this? Why do I ever vest? Do you know that I haven't ever vest like this in years? What have you done to me, boy? What have you done to me? I've been hard-boiled all of my life, but you have conquered my shell. I have never had a wife, for married life is swell. Love is in your life like sweet perfume in the springtime bursting. That way, honey. <laughs> Mama! Oh, now, wait a minute. <laughs> Mama! Now, look what you're doing to me. Look. Oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Have you got the papers? I got them right here, Gilbert. Then come, let's proceed to the front. Oh, you are gallant, you are brave, you are everything. <laughs> you just about summed it all up, honey. You summed it all up. Oh, Tommy, you must be careful. Don't worry about me, baby. Goodbye. And believe me, honey, nothing's going to stop us from taking those papers to General Hale. Farewell, farewell. You've no idea how I'm going to miss you, honey. Hail, 
mail for you, sir. Hence time today. Yes, General. Yes, General. Yes, General. John, I'm a yes man. Positively, General. Those papers are on the way to you now. It's something you ought to know. May we see you privately? No. This office is for army business, not for family disputes. Well, what have you got to say? Go ahead, be brief. I will be brief. Annette stole the papers you gave Jim to take to General Hale. What? What did you do with them? Don't worry, Dad. They'll get to General Hale. I gave them to two of the most wonderful boys in the world. Gilbert Simpsons and Tommy Turner. What? You gave them the scallywags I've been taking for ten days? Oh. Why? Will you tell me why? Because I'm in love with Tommy Turner. Gee, God's in great shock. And if he gets those papers to General Hill, you'll forgive him. And then he can marry me. Forgive him? I'll have him shot at sunrise. At first, the boys didn't want to do it, but your girlfriend Olga helped me to coax them. Well, very obliging. What a family! What a family! Oh, honest, Pop, I didn't mean any harm. Captain Jones! Captain Jones! Yes, sir. Those two men, Gilbert Simpsons and Tommy Turner, have the General's papers. Cover every road leading to the front. You must get those men. Send ten details, twenty details, thirty details. For get those men. Yes, sir. Said we've got to get him. Where can we find General Hale, sir? General Hale is farther front. How do we get to the front line, sir? The only way is through that communicating trench. What do you want to see General Hale about? We have important papers for him, sir. Your Simpkins and Turner? Oh, Captain, how'd you get? Communicating trench has just been blown, sir. They can't get through now, Captain. Somebody will have to crawl through that barrage. I can't order a man to go through that inferno. Give me those papers. I'll call for volunteers. Then, I have some very important papers that must reach General Hale at once. Communication to the front line trenches is cut off. I want to volunteer for this dangerous job. Say no more, Captain. Say no more. Simpson, you're made of the right stuff. It's going to take a lot of guts to get through there. I understand exactly, Captain. And I've got just the man for you. Private Turner, sir. The nerviest man in the whole army. Ah, Private Turner. Here are the papers. Good luck. The best way over is through that cut there. Yes, sir. Hey, wait a minute, Tommy. Gee, kid, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get into this. Oh, gee, Gilbert. That's so funny. Yeah, but... You know, something's liable to go wrong. Uh, you know, you might not come back. Oh, gee, now, wait a minute. I'll do No, I'll come back, all right. It'll be okay. But if I don't, you'll tell Annette, won't you? Yeah, I'll tell her.
are you going? Out there. Think they got him. But, Lord, man, you can't stop there now. And boy, you got, boy, you got ten feet. That's all right, buddy. Now, he needs me, and I'm going for him. I don't know. It's, it's my back. I, I, I don't seem to feel a thing. Oh, I don't. Here, kid. Take a drink of this. Is that better now, Tommy? Do you feel better now, kid? Here. Do you feel that, Tommy? I don't feel a thing. Wait a minute, Tommy. Signing of the armistice has saved my reputation and standing as an officer. It has not only saved the world for democracy, but it has saved me from my family. And don't forget, if I ever lay my hands on those two doughboys, I deliver them to you piece by piece. Phone call. Oh, damn, sir. What do you mean by this? What did you do with that message for General Hale? Why, uh, <clears throat> we decided not to deliver it. Oh, you did, eh? What did you do with it? We opened it up and read it. What? <laughs> it's an old Indian custom, Colonel. An old Indian custom. In case we lost it, we could deliver it by word of mouth. <laughs> you know, I know every word by heart. You'll be shot at sunrise. <laughs> When you know what we know, you'll be half shot at sunrise. Oh, there you are. What are you doing? Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, I, turn oh, please I, now. Woo. <laughs> you'll get a parallel stroke. Colonel, I want to ask you. Did you really want this message delivered to General Hale? Uh, 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 come with me in my office. I want to speak with you privately. You, uh, you uh, say you memorized this paper? <laughs> Every darn word. What did it say? My dear Snugglepuff. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Well, if it isn't enough, we know some more. <laughs> Do you know what I could do to you for this? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I was just thinking what we could do to you for this. <laughs> Colonel, what I want to know is, why did you treat little Olga so mean? You know, I was never so... Motorman's glove. General Hale's plan. Yeah. Where did you get them? I found them right here on my desk. What does this mean? It means that you sent Olga's note to the general instead of the plan. Oh, that Olga, I'll have her neck. <laughs> no, Colonel, I'll have that. <laughs> oh, you don't get us the funniest thing ever did. Yo, something's got to be done about this. Yes, yes. It seems as though armistice has been declared for everybody but you. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, draw, 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 dra
Well, uh, certainly we sent for Lieutenant Reed. Didn't we, Colonel? Well, uh, 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 yes, sir. Oh, yes, of course, of course, yes. <laughs> the Colonel wants you two kids to get married right away. Don't we, Colonel? Well, yeah, well, yeah, well, well, yes, sir. Quite so, quite so, quite so. Good heavens, the old man's gone crazy. <laughs> My darling Snugglecup, <laughs> where were you last night? I waited for you for hours. Have you forgotten your old gut? <laughs> Colonel, there's nothing to it. We men have got to stick together. Tommy, hey, but I'm glad you're back. So am I. And the Colonel wants us to be married right away. Yeah, me too. 